resistance is a property which varies over 20 orders of magnitude so different techniques are used to measure resistances of different magnitudes i will talk about a method to measure a resistance above 100 megohms using the leakage of current from a capacitor through the resistance so when a resistance is in the order order of hundreds of megohms or even gigohms a convenient way to measure it is by charging a capacitor c to a voltage v not and discharging it through the high resistance r the voltage and the capacitor will decay with time as vt is v not exponential minus t by tau where tau is the product of the capacitance and resistance if the capacitance has an internal resistance which is not infinite and if the internal resistance is r dash the voltage will vary as v not exponential minus t by c into r double dash where one by r double dash is one by r plus one by r dash the voltage and the capacitor must be measured with a voltmeter which will have a very high internal impedance normal multimeters have internal impedance of the order of a few megohms so they cannot be used to directly measure the voltage on the capacitor so what we do is we use a voltage follower between the capacitor and the multimeter the voltage of the capacitor is applied to the inputs of the voltage follower the inputs have a very high impedance infinite impedance and therefore the input impedance will have no effect on the capacitor reading on the other hand the output impedance of the voltage follower is low the voltage you apply at the input will appear at the output which can now be measured with a multimeter so this is our circuit for measurement of high capacitors high resistance in this circuit you have two parts the part up to this point is the circuit for measurement of high resistance this part containing these three banana terminals can be used as a split power supply for any other experiments now in this part we have three capacitors tantalum capacitors 10 microfarad 47 microfarad and 100 microfarad you can choose the capacitor you want by putting this band switch the capacitor is charged by putting this switch at the top left corner of the instrument you put it on then the capacitor gets charged the second switch also can be put in position o that is up or in position s 
that is down. When it is in position wo, the external resistance of 135 megohms is not connected to the capacitor. When it is in position yes, down, the external capacitor is connected, external resistance is connected to the capacitor. So the procedure for measurement is the following. You put both switches up. So the capacitor is charging now. The voltage and the capacitor is measured on a DMM, which is connected to the terminals marked DMM. It will measure the voltage only when we press this push switch. Now the voltage is 2.07 volts and the capacitor is charged. Only when the push switch is pressed, the leads of the capacitor are connected to the input of the voltage follower. Then I put the capacitor, this switch, in the discharge position. I wait for some time till the voltage and below 2 volts and it can be measured in 2-3 decimal places. This process can be hazened by putting this switch in position yes, then the capacitor will discharge fast. So we wait for a few minutes, the voltage and the capacitor, it has come below 2 volts. Now I put this switch in position O, I start my stopwatch and measure the voltage every 5 minutes, 0, 5, 10, 15, I push this switch and measure the voltage. This switch is down and this switch is up in this position. I take readings up to 30 minutes. Then I put this switch up to charge the capacitor and wait till the capacitor gets charged. And now I put both switches down and wait till the readings come to three decimal places. When this switch is down, capacitor is discharging to its internal resistance in parallel with an external resistance of 130 megohms. When this switch is up, Capacitance is discharging only through its internal resistance. Now I press the switch, it has just come to 2.00. So you wait for another one minute. Now it is in three decimal places. Start your stopwatch and take measurements at the voltage every two minutes. Because this switch is down, it is discharging through an external resistance of one with an internal resistance of the order of gigohms. Therefore, it will discharge fast and you take readings every two minutes for 12 minutes. That is all the experiment. These are the readings when the switch is in position O and the capacitor is discharging only through the internal resistance. You have measured the voltage 
at intervals of 300 seconds. When the switch is in position, yes, capacitor discharges through 130 meg in parallel with the internal resistance. Voltage is measured every two minutes. The natural logarithm of the voltage is shown in column three in both cases. You plot this natural logarithm of the voltage along the y-axis and time on the x-axis. You now get two straight lines. When the switch is in position O, the slope of the straight line is small. When the switch is in position S, yes, the slope of the straight line is large. Let us say this slope dash and this negative slope is alpha double dash. Then the internal resistance R dash of the capacitor is minus 1 by C into the slope alpha dash when switch is in position O. The resistance R that we want to measure is given by 1 by C into the slope when the switch is in position O minus the slope when the switch is in position S. So alpha dash is minus 3.58 10 to the power of minus 5 per second. Alpha double dash is minus 7.77 10 power minus 4 per second. The capacitance is 10 microfarad and therefore R dash is 2.865 gigaohm and the internal resistance R is 135 megaohms.